Hi, I'm Ben Hickey, Curator of Exhibitions at the Hilliard Art Museum. Welcome to Philip Gould's Bridging the Mississippi Spans Across the Father of Waters. Philip Gould's Bridging the Mississippi Spans Across the Father of Waters is an expansive account of America's greatest waterway. Bridges, the impetus for this project, frequently do not receive their due as architectural wonders, although they speak to American ingenuity and can-do attitude as few other structures do. The resulting push and pull between grand narrative and singularly lived experience in these images hints at the complexity of creating a series that represents, as much as possible, the entirety of the Mississippi River. Gould's photographs capture the connectedness between the river and our shared history. Whether it is Raymond Manson praying under the Crescent City connection each morning, or a statue depicting a young Abraham Lincoln fighting in court for railroads' rights to cross the Mississippi. Each image reflects the movement of time intertwined with the lives of people of all backgrounds. In Gould's dramatic shot of the bridges in Cairo, Illinois, where the Mississippi and Ohio rivers converge, the waterways and bridges seem to cut back diagonally against each other. It's as though the whole arrangement is held together with a zigzag stitch. It strikes me that our communal understanding of the Mississippi holds us together in a manner similar to that of seams and garments. Taken from a chartered plane, the Cairo photograph subtly points to humans' role in the development of transportation up and down the Mississippi. Gould's practice, especially through use of aerial photography, echoes other technological innovations that he and Margot Hasha, his writing partner, document. Through images and text, Bridging the Mississippi offers readers the opportunity to see themselves as part of a larger historical continuum. Hi, I'm Philip Gould. I'm the photographer for the exhibit at the Hilliard Art Museum entitled Bridging the Mississippi Spans Across the Father of Waters. What did I learn on this project that will hopefully contribute to my general knowledge going forward? You have to think out of the box in terms of the cameras you use. Um, I use a drone. But I, I think the main thing that I learned was you have to stay on task. You have to stay focused until you get the shot. You ha if it takes four hours sitting there, being ready, you have to do it. You have to just let the photograph happen. You don't know what it's going to be. That shot of the people underneath the bridge, I had no idea that was coming, um, but I was focused on being under the bridge and then suddenly they're, you know, they were, they were actually posing for another photo shoot and I just, bam, got it. There's a similar serendipity between photographing projects like this and photographing nature. You know, you just have to be there until you find the, until the photograph arrives, so the subject arrives. Somehow give a karmic space for the muse to be working on your behalf. Um, and oftentimes things would happen that, you know, where that, that's the case. The shot of the headwaters where that little girl, I mean, I shot that all kinds of ways, but there was just that one frame and the little girl has her hand in the water. I mean, that just, bam, that, that, that anchors the shot. This shot here of the Huey P. Long Bridge, the long view, there was a train in front and the train starts to slow down and what pulls up right between me, the camera and the bridge, a perfect flat car framing out with the box cars on either side. Perfect, you know. Um, if I was all set to give up and then suddenly, poof, it stops. Things like that, it's just, they're just really important. That's been the key, that's why I do projects. You know, there's always something very gratifying about really focusing and sinking your teeth into something over and, and spending time with it. The Bridge Project took three years of photography. And, um, you know, here we are.